This is the first time a high-ranking member of the House of Representatives will be visiting the IDP camp in Yola and the Northeast in general. Honorable Yakubu Dogara and some members of the lower chamber were at the Damare camp of the internally displaced persons in Yola Adamawa state to sympathize with their situation. Relief materials were also distributed, which include 800 bags of rice, 300 bags of maize, a large number of blankets, detergents and wrappers. The speaker, in company of the Director General of NEMA, also distributed food items to the IDPs. <laughs> he applauds President Buhari and the military in their efforts in fighting insurgency in the northeast and appealed to the military to clear the Sambisa forest to enable the return of the IDPs to the liberated areas. Security is uppermost, not just the food that we have come to present. And we know that if we were to keep you here and feed you with the base of things, with the base of food, with the fat of the earth, you will never be satisfied until you have gone back to the place you have grown to know as home. While welcoming the speaker, the Director General of NEMA, Mr. Sani Sidi, gives a brief history of the Damare IDP camp in Yola. In the same vein, the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, also in Yola, the Adamawa State Capital, continued in its effort at providing relief to those affected by the insurgency. Is the first visit by a senior American government official to the camp. The state coordinator of NEMA, Honorable Saad Bello, received the United States permanent representative to the UN, Ambassador Samantha Power, at the camp and conducted her around the facilities, which include the clinic, the sewing center, and the social center. Ambassador Power then proceeded to the Malkohi unofficial camp, a few kilometers from the official one, where she interacted with the leaders of the IDPs and gave reasons for her visit. I have come here from the United States with a uh, high-level delegation in order to find out what more we can do uh, to defeat Boko Haram so that you can go home. And also, of course, to see how you are living uh, and how, in support of the Nigerian government, we can ensure that you can live uh, with dignity. Indeed, it's been a wonderful experience for the government officials and Ambassador Samantha Parr. Efforts to ensure that these IDPs get the much-needed relief is now what is uppermost on everyone's minds.